Hello, Aries. Welcome to a cut above tarot. Yay, yay. Aries, my amazing Aries, my adorable Aries. Aries, Aries, this is your short and sweet for November 2022. Okay. I'm using a manga deck, <clears throat> one of my favorites. In fact, I, you can tell it is because the box is all beat up and stuff. Look at that, the top is even gone, but it's okay. All right, we're also using the, uh, that is not what we're using. <laughs> we're using the Energy Oracle deck for your reading. And we're also getting, using your, the Romance Ain't Rope. Romance Angel Cards. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway. All right. So I've already took the liberty to go ahead on the shelf of the deck and put the cards out because this is your short and sweet, and I want to make sure I get everything to you just the way I got it. All right? Your energy card is the Thinking Man card. Okay? That's what popped out, the Thinking Man card. All right? And uh, to confirm that, you got the Ten of Wands. Okay? Aries, it says that you've done some bad deeds, okay? All right? And it also says here, yeah, you did them as a warrior, right? And it said at the time, you felt like you were fulfilled, okay? But now you got the hangman, and now you're feeling, you know, looking at things in a different perspective after it's all been over with, okay? Now you're ready to change your ways and do something new or different, okay? Yeah, and so now you feel like that you need to make amends with somebody, Okay. Wow. That was too quick for you, wasn't it? I know it. All right. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to read the cards from the book. All right. I'll tell you what the book says. All right. Here we go. The Ten of Swords says, you did some bad deeds. Okay. You felt like somebody did you wrong. You know, somebody misjudged you. Somebody said something they had no business. Somebody was thinking about you in a derogatory way. You felt like you had to step up to the plate. Okay? All right? You you went out there like that baby gorilla. Hey, Reese. You went ham like a mug. You went out there like a warrior. You wasn't scared. That's right. You wasn't scared at all. You ready to cut somebody's head off. Yeah. You felt that shit deep. Yeah, that was your that was like your fulfillment right there. If you ain't never been in that place, you can be in a place where you want to hurt somebody so bad you can taste it. Sometimes you even taste the blood in your mouth. For real. I'm just telling you. We're talking about that gorilla. Now let's get back on track. All right. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be reading from the from the dick deck, don't I? <laughs> okay, the nine of cups said what? Fulfillment. All right. All right. That Knight of Swords says what? Uh, yeah, living as a warrior. Okay. The Hangman says what? Uh, the Hangman said change of perspective. Perspective. Okay. The Death Card says. Sorry about that. Uh, you letting things go. So after all been said and done and everything that happened and stuff, and you're looking at things from a different perspective, you say, okay, you know what? I'm going to drop this shit. I'm going to let it go. All right? You're going to just cut it out. You're going to hash this out. All right? The last card you got is the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles talk about benevolence. So now you're feeling lovable and kind. Uh, you want to show somebody uh, some, uh, uh, you're giving somebody a little grace, so to speak. Okay? Uh and, and that's after you did the gorilla on their ass, you know. Now, look, coincided right with this thinking card, right? Right. All right. Your angel romance card says engagement. Congratulations, Aries. One or some of you are about to be engaged or you are engaged. And it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Your love life is extending to a higher level of commitment. Congratulations. All right, Aries, that was your reading. I know it was too fast for you, but hey, that's your short and sweet. All right, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. You know I read your comments. 
and uh, those that are not subscribed and just come through to watch the videos, I really appreciate it. I am very grateful for the subscribers, and I am grateful for those that just come through and watch the videos. You have made my life. Thank you.